All right, uh, let's just get right into uh, you guys. If you've ever paid to play a game early, like Starfield, what else? Uh, Call of Duty. Starfield, Call of Duty, uh, Diablo 4, Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, if you've ever paid because you just can't wait to play those games on release. You have to play them when they release three days before they release. Mm -hmm. uh, you're part of the problem. Yes. Um, so this is based on an article from Kotaku uh, titled, Greedy Publishers Have Won and Normalized Paying uh, to Play Early. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's more of like an opinion piece and it gives a lot of like the, the writer's own personal perspective on it. But I do want to highlight... Uh, some things. While it didn't technically start last year, in 2023, we saw an increase in the number of games offering early access for a price. Mortal Kombat 1, The Crew Motorfest, Starfield, Diablo 4, and a few others all offered players an, an option. Pay the standard price to play the game at launch or pay extra to play a few days early, assuming the servers are working properly. Uh, now, it seems like an obvious ploy uh, by publishers to milk gamers for even more money than they already do via in-app purchases, cosmetics, battle passes, and XP. Uh, it was hoped that people would realize that all of these publishers were uh, were doing was holding back a game's release for a few days just to make some extra money. It was also hoped that gamers would see this as a scam that it was um, and that these early access perks were worthless. Looking ahead to the rest of 20, uh, 2024, it's clear that publishers, big and small, have uh, seen other games make lots of money via early access launches and are following their lead. Here is a list of games scheduled to release in 2024 that offer early access via a pricier special edition, how much that version costs, and how early you can play it. So oh just, my god, this is a big list. Exactly, I know. This is all this year? Yeah. So oh I'm just going to read the list. Uh, college football, 25, three days early, $90. Madden, NFL 25, three days early, $90. Monster Jam Showdown, three days early, $70. Star Wars Outlaws, three days early, $110. Uh, Visions of Mana, uh, one day early, $80. Age of Mythology Retold, seven days early. Seven days Seven early days for early. fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, Space Marine Two four days early a hundred dollars. Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream three days early eighty five dollars. Undisputed three days early eighty dollars. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero three days early a hundred dollars. Sonic X Shadow Generation Sega's in on three it? days early sixty dollars. Life is Strange Double Exposure fourteen days <laughs> early. That for 80 bucks. That is ridiculous. Assassin's Creed Shadows, three days early, $110. Concord, three days early, $60. Silent Hill 2 Remake, two days early, $80. Earth Defense Force 6, one day early, $90. Um, Enotria, the last song, three days early, $60. Earth Defense Force World Brothers 2, one day early, $75. Those are two different games. I guess so. Coming out this year. And this is the, and this is the kicker. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. The Silver Edition, you can play two days early for $80, or you can play the Gold Edition seven days early for $90. You know when we kept saying that games are uh, technically cheaper than they've ever been? Or, or I guess saying that games used to be more expensive than they are right now? Yeah. Uh, this is is uh this just throws yeah throws this, dirt this, in that argument this yeah is the fix yeah for that. this is publishers uh, trying to they're trying everything and like yeah. you know we already like bemoan microtransactions and like you know pay to win dlc and like your content that gets locked behind dlc and stuff and this is just one more thing that publishers are now adding to their repertoire to like, you know, eke out a little extra money it, from it, you. It's ridiculous because th throughout all of our years in playing games, mm -hmm. whenever we talk to somebody about a new game, they always say, ah, I don't want to pay 60 bucks for that. I don't want to pay 70 bucks for that. I'll wait a couple weeks and buy yeah. it on sale because games almost immediately go on sale. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of it swinging in the other direction. Yeah launching early for more money yeah or you buy it the day it's supposed to release mm -hmm. for that 60 or 70 dollars that people already didn't want yeah. to pay 
So it is really just raising the price of games uh in a in a in, in a weird like tacked on tax. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's another thing too is like you know obviously these higher price tiers like these are like the the special editions of these games like the gold editions or the deluxe editions or whatnot yeah. and those usually come with extra content like extra cosmetics extra dlc and whatnot and some of that stuff is locked to that version of the game so not only are you paying for to play the game early you're paying to get to play the game with more stuff yeah i mean it Sounds similar to uh, the Xbox 360 era we always talk about. Uh, you you have a name for it when they used to uh, make you buy it new. They were trying to get oh, you to that, that pay was, for it um, new. No, the actual name EA gave it was Project $10. Yeah. So, like, you buy the game new, you get the whole game. If you buy it used, you had to pay 10 extra dollars to download whatever was missing from the game, usually the multiplayer mode. Yeah, or they'd be like a code that you need or something. Yeah. That was uh, their way to squeeze some extra money out of the used market or, yeah. or just make some extra money at all for, yeah. for new game purchases. It was also uh, like, you know, it, it kind of ties back into this because this is clearly, you know, trying to feed off of people's FOMO. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't want to, you know, miss out on the game. Like, I better pay the extra money to get it early. You know, uh, this article even goes on to mention uh, in multiplayer games, this can lead to people arriving well after others have hit the max level and mastered maps and weapons. And for single player games, it means folks with uh, less money might have story spoiled days before they can play it. It's just a real mess of garbage and none of it is necessary <laughs> at all. And beyond just how nakedly greedy this all is, it uh, also complicates video games even more than before. We already had to check elaborate pre-order charts to see which version of the game to buy. Uh, now some people know. Uh, now some people you know will be playing on Tuesday, while others are starting on Friday. The FOMO affects me really hard. That's why I don't yeah. like it. Uh, that's why I'm so passionate yeah. against this because mm -hmm. um, I want to be part of the conversation. And it yeah. sucks to not have to. It sucks that you can't be part of the conversation for the yeah. first week in some cases also they're right if it's multiplayer if it's a multiplayer game or something you are going to start at a disadvantage because you're not starting with yeah. a lot of the other people who are playing the game but going back to the way it was during the xbox 360 era we talked about the project ten dollars at the same time they were doing a lot of other things like yeah. pa all, most new games at the time were packaging in just a dlc item mm -hmm. that like if you buy it new there's a little card in there and you get a dlc item you type in the code yeah. and you get that dlc item or sometimes it would be the multiplayer or, or sometimes... uh pre-ordering was a big deal they want you they wanted you to pre-order the game and to incentivize you depending on what store you went to you got different things yeah. here and there uh, that was that was something that was complicated too yeah because uh, different stores had different dlcs or, or pre-order bonuses and also, the game would come with a DLC yeah. in it. So you would have the pre-ordered DLC bonus, and then also the new game bonus. I that's think in it the was thing. Transformers. Uh, yes, War Transformers for Cybertron. had a different character in each retailer. Yeah, and if your favorite character was like Jazz, and like say Jazz was exclusive to Best Buy, but there was no Best Buy around like your town. You ain't getting jazz. You're getting stuck with like Ratchet or some stupid. Uh, Didn't character. we do something wacky with that? I don't remember. I, I, I vaguely remember yeah. trying to pre order it at three different stores. I think so. It, the point is that they're trying every. These publishers throughout yeah. the years have been trying everything to try to squeeze more money out of people because uh, they know it's it would be very unpopular to just raise the price of games. Yeah. Uh, we but, have had multiple versions of games for a long time, like the gold edition and the yeah. silver edition or whatever. Uh, but this seems to be uh, one of those times where it has the potential to uh, ruin things going forward. Yeah. My hope is that this goes the way of Project $10 and eventually isn't <sighs> the popular thing to do anymore. Well, it seems like it's catching on, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, I, there's no article for this, I don't think, but... Uh, specifically for ea sports college football yeah uh 25 which is the new version i didn't realize that this is ncaa and they haven't yeah. had a ncaa football there's, game. there's a whole big to do with um the athletes rights and yeah. stuff yeah. i didn't realize they haven't had one in like 14 years yeah. or something so this is the first one in a long time anyway people are so excited for this game mm -hmm. nerds yes so excited not cool people like us for, for their fanatical sports game
Uh, college Football 25 sold 2.2 million hundred dollar copies for early access. Yeah. 2.2 million copies that included the early access. So not yeah. the $70 version, the $100, $100 version. Yeah. So you're the problem. Exactly. And, you know, I, I see people saying in the chat, like, you know, this will die down eventually. This You said, like, this will be a trend it, that goes away. That's the scary part. Like, reading and, how successful it was for NCAA. I bumped, I bumped this article up because it ties into this story uh, as well. Uh, I'll just read the headline. 82% of American players made in-game purchases last year. I'm, I'm one of those. Yeah. I'm part of the problem That's there. The thing. Like, we all I spent so much money in Valorant. <laughs> uh, f- According to Comscore's 2024 State of Gaming report published by uh, GI.biz, uh, which uh, was made in partnership with in-game advertising uh, platform Anzu. According to the report, 62% of adults over the age of 18 played a video game with millennials, hey, comprising 49% and followed by those dastardly Gen Zs at 13%. Uh, of other people surveyed, 77% play uh, on more than one platform and over a third regularly use a combination of console, PC, or mobile. It's claimed that video game enthusiasts in the United States spend 45 billion hours on oh, gaming shit. sites and apps last year, with esports becoming increasingly popular. 86% of Gen Zs and 80% of millennials surveyed say they watch esports, while 53% of Gen Z and 81% of millennials say they engage with esports content. Um but the big takeaway for me, at least, was that 82% of Americans made in-game purchases last year. Yeah, I'm one of the problem. That's, I know. That's, that's the thing. thing. We keep saying, like, vote with your wallet. Don't buy, you know, games that have early access. Don't buy, you know, pay-to-win items. Or but you got to see but, the like, skins do. on some of these they, guns. Like, we keep doing it. I tried to explain this to our mom one time. What? But pay, like, how, like, games like Fortnite... And like free to play games, like make their money. Mm-hmm. Like you buy special skins and like characters and stuff. And she could not wrap her head around that. So like, they're buying fake things for their game. And like, yeah, mom. But you gotta understand, like you could play as Bender from Futurama <laughs> in Fortnite. <laughs> I'm sure there's an easy way to distill it in a way that she would understand. Like in Italian. In Italian. <laughs> <laughs> No, like you buy a wallpaper. Remember, we used to buy wallpapers for phones. Oh yeah, you know ringtones. Yeah. Ringtones. It's like buying a ringtone. Yeah. It's like the same thing. So I, during the uh, Amazon Prime Day, whatever. Yes. Uh, I spent eighty dollars on a one hundred dollar gift card for Valorant points. It's like okay. V bucks, yeah, but for yeah. Valorant. Uh, and immediately spent all one hundred dollars <laughs> on like a handful of skins that look like i don't know you get a cute cat on your gun yeah. that like looks at you when you're shooting it yeah <laughs> also i spent maybe 40 dollars on the gundam skins in call of duty yeah. and i never play call of duty anymore. <laughs> but those like i like the cosmetic skins i know and but those like, are free to play games yeah so they gotta make their money somehow and but i like, think that that's a reasonable way to do it because you don't need the skin no it's just cool is yeah. it a hundred dollars cool that's what for, for you to, yeah. and me in the moment i felt like it was a hundred dollars but like cool. that's what we're getting at like we see these publishers do like all these dumb things that like are obviously bad and obviously anti-consumer and obviously counterintuitive and we always say this is stupid this is dumb do not buy into this this is just another greedy tactic to pull money out of you uh but like we keep doing it like 2.2 million people paying a hundred dollars to play a fucking football game that's really? great. That yeah. sucks. Like, like that, that tells you all you need to know. Look, there's well, yeah. You see the little cat on top of the gun. Yeah, I see. The it cat. looks at you and it gets angry when you shoot. <laughs> when you reload, it does a little cool animation. All right, fine. It makes play. all these cool sounds uh, when you uh, kill somebody. Like a, like a, like an animation plays around them. It's cool. Look at that. All right, fine. I'll play Valorant. <laughs> I have a beta I don't code. Even like cats. I have a console beta code. <laughs> also, all of your skins transfer to the console version. So. <laughs> nice but yeah 
paying to play early is a thing that irks me a lot and it's something that i will pretty much always refuse to do i can't imagine a, yeah. a scenario where i will be comfortable doing that. no like me neither. like i wait to play games anyway like i'm i'm one of those people who advocates for waiting to play games you know when they go on sale you know when they're significantly cheaper when they bundle in all the dlc they tried to get you to pre-order like before launch I, i'm also pretty against the uh different versions of games like yeah. when there's like the silver and gold version and stuff yeah uh, i i we used to get collector's editions all of the time yeah i loved collector's editions when you get physical cool stuff yeah. i don't so much anymore because i just don't have room for any of the shit and yeah. a lot of it is pretty shitty like yeah it's there, i haven't seen a collector's edition where i was like oh that's cool in like a really long yeah. time uh, even when we were buying them there was a lot of dumb ones but yeah. Uh, some of them were crazy, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with the night vision goggles. Oh, that was crazy. That was the best one. Yeah. There was uh, Arkham or Infamous or one of them. Oh, The Last of Us had like a crazy statue. Yeah. Some of the statues. Some that, of the statues were like hit and miss. Yeah, but some of them were like amazing. Yeah. Um, but these days, they're all pretty shitty yeah. looking. Uh, and, and I'd rather just buy the game and then buy like a toy. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I don't need to get the collection edition. But when there's different versions and like one of them comes with like a bunch of digital shit, I don't need it. Yeah. It's not, I, I just want to play the game. Yeah. I don't want to play any other the other garbage. Uh, but I will be mad if you purposely leave out game content to include in the higher tiered editions. Like yeah. uh, we always talk about uh, Assassin's Creed. Two. Two did that. Um, I don't like that. And I don't like having to pay to play the game early. I refuse to do that. Also, too, like, you know, say a game is supposed to come out on Friday, but if you pay $100, you can play the game on Tuesday. That leads, that tells us that the game is done. That the game can come yeah, out that's whenever the, you that's, want. That's and the you're just problem. arbitrarily saying, like, okay, it'll come out on Friday, but for special people who give us more money, it will come out on tuesday yeah back in the olden days games used to go gold and that's how you knew the game was done yeah because they'd have to submit it to print yeah and the the gold i don't know it's 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 like an old record thing isn't it i think so yeah like like they would oh, have yeah, to yeah the uh, vinyl records would be uh the master would be a gold master and they would print the uh, press all the vinyls like with that yeah yeah uh so when a game goes gold it's it means it's done it's yeah. ready to go but these days that doesn't mean anything because you can anything. update it, you know, yeah. ad nauseum with like patches and updated content. But I always make this argument when we talk about this. When you're working at a game company, yeah, there's a date on the board. Yeah. The game's got to be done by this date. Yeah. Do you think they have the release date or the early access date on that board? Yeah. Because two, how, how many millions of people bought NCAA? Yeah. They got to get the game ready for the early access. Well, it's got to be ready to go for that date, not the three days later date. And I think that's going to cause a lot of problems because now they're going to start doing that where the game has to be ready by the early access date. It's been like that. Yeah. It, it's, and it's, it's not. That's why I keep saying the game releases on the early access date. The That's the actual release date. Mm -hmm. They are delaying it for everybody else. The day one access is really day three access yeah. because they got to get the game ready for the early access date they're just delaying it for yeah. you guys and making other people pay a, a, yeah. a, a premium it's bullshit i don't like it yeah it's ridiculous let's stop calling it early access yeah start calling it i don't know day one and then the release date is delayed access. <laughs> Let's just call that That's delayed what, access. No, we, should, we need to like have a signifier of what this is really is, because like early, it's like a, it's, it's like a greedy early access. It's yeah, pay, early access it's is already early, a thing. Yeah, it's it's like you know, early access used to be like if you were in press or you were like an influencer or you entered a contest and won, well, well, they now, would give you the game early as like a special prize or a special benefit of your job. Now it's like, give me money and you get the privilege of playing my dumb football game early. Well, early access is supposed to be now, uh, the game's not finished, it's alpha and, yeah. and you're just trying it. You know, mm -hmm. that's supposed to be early access. Um, paid access is, is yeah. what it is. You're yeah. paying to access. Uh, the game delayed access is what it is when the game finally releases yeah. uh, or what they say the release date is anyway yeah it sucks I, I don't i don't like this and i hope that it 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 stops i hope yeah. that they're 
I hope that col this college football game has some major issues <laughs> because the only way this is going to get fa we just read off a list of so many games yeah. that are doing this there has to be major failures in a lot of them on that early access period oh i'm sorry the paid access period yeah. uh because otherwise this is just going to keep happening and people are going to keep buying it and it's just going to keep working what's another case where uh people voted with their wallet in a in a wrong way uh loot boxes loot boxes although that kind of reversed but that's because there was legislation around it yeah but like you still see loot boxes everywhere in like a lot of games i haven't heard about loot like weird like egregious loot boxes yeah. like there used to be with like battlefield and stuff that yeah seems like to have that was the fixed itself yeah but they're still prevalent they just got better at like not being shitty about it mm -hmm. not, not high not forcing you to like you know, either grind for a thousand hours or just pay twenty dollars for you know stuff. Yeah. You know, um, also like the whole gambling aspect. You know, paying money until you get a better thing. You know, that's like kind of they kind of like stopped doing. I that. really think that the government stepped in and was like, "No, this is gambling." Yeah, and then companies had to fix themselves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I think Battlefront Two was only reversed because Disney got involved. It was yes. reversed and then reversed back. Yeah. They flip flopped on it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Listen, I can talk all day about. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, not early access, paid access. Yeah. Uh, Atif Hamid with twenty dollars on YouTube. Uh, hey guys, on a semi-related note to these uh, pricing tricks like early access and with games costing more to make but not going up in price, maybe we do need to price games higher? Question mark. I don't know because gaming is already a very expensive hobby. We already did. It, yeah. it was sixty dollars not too long ago. Now, and now it's seventy dollars. Yeah. So that already happened. Yeah. So, I mean, like, because you're paying like five hundred dollars for the machine to play the games on. You're playing. You're paying seventy dollars per game. You know, and you're buying multiple games. You got to buy. You know, these days you got to buy storage expansion. You probably want a second controller. That's, uh, a, that's another thing. Is that like a game like Call of Duty? Uh, yeah. being like 300 gigabytes yeah that's a cost too yeah that's something you're gonna have to pay for eventually yeah but to his point i would care less if the game was 80 dollars and released the same day for everybody mm -hmm. than if the game is 70 dollars and it's delayed access yeah 